Today, we're going to start a tutorial series for the Helionic system that you would find in the H145. This system is extremely robust in features and information, and because of that, the Helionic system is not a piece of equipment you can just figure out once you get into the cockpit. To safely use the system, it requires substantial study in order to operate the helicopter without distraction. So today, let's start with an overview of the display systems. The H145 is equipped with three Helionics multifunction displays, or MFDs. The screen on your left, or your co-pilot screen, is MFD number one. The screen on your right, or your pilot screen, is MFD number two. And the middle screen is MFD number four. Now, I know what you're thinking, where's three? Airbus decided not to name the middle screen three because the system uses three for the logic cross-check between the channels in the Helionics computers, and that could cause confusion, so they just used four. Each MFD can be controlled by using the display management keys around the outside of the displays. There is an on or off button in the upper left-hand corner. In the upper right-hand corner, there is a contrast control. The contrast rocker adjusts the difference between the background imagery and the overlay symbology, making the flight data more or less prominent. The buttons with arrows on them are called line selector keys. The line selector keys are buttons that let you choose or change the option shown next to each button on the display screens. If there's no label on the screen by the button, that button at that time is non-functional. The buttons with arrows on the left side are called your left line selector keys. The buttons with arrows on the right side are called your right line selector keys. The buttons with arrows on them on the top are called your master select keys. And the buttons on the bottom are referred to as your bottom select keys. The luminosity rocker in the lower left corner uh, changes the overall screen brightness. Now, the brightness rocker in the lower right corner brightens or dims the picture overlays only. Uh, for instance, the uh, digital map, the weather picture, any video, and electronic flight bag pages. But it doesn't change the screen's backlight. So the luminosity rocker is your overall backlight for the whole display. And the contrast rocker changes how strongly the symbols and text stand out against the background. I hope you enjoyed our introduction to the Helionics displays. And we'll see you at the next Eurosafety tutorial.